Hello everybody, I'm Mel Clark from Mel Clark Coaching and uh, I wanted to talk to you about the five strategies that I implement uh, to main maintain my connection uh, with and love for myself. And um, one of my big ones is regular meditation. It allows me to, to be and feel into the awareness in my body. And I, I try different meditations, it depends on how I'm feeling basically. So depending on the day, sometimes I will lie on the bed and, and sort of put my awareness into my body um, and feel where the stuck energy is. You can feel it. Usually for me, it's the solar plexus or the stomach area. Some people also feel it in the heart area. And when you can put your awareness there and you can feel it, it allows the body to naturally start to metabolize that stuck energy and, and be able to start moving and processing through your body. So that's one sort of meditation that I do. And um, But other, other days, I just want to sit and be quiet without any guided meditations without anything just sit and be silent um and then in terms of the self love and the inner child work um there are some mornings where I will sit and it's always in the mornings I do my meditation I will sit and visualize myself as um the little girl so I'll think of a particular photograph like say from a school photo or something and and then I'll be with her as the adult and I'll be hugging her and holding her hand and smiling and she's always smiling which is lovely um, because she feels safe and loved. So yeah, so meditation is a big one for me. Um, also, I like to connect with my creativity and the things that I love. And some of those things, are, there are loads of them, but I love playing the guitar. I'm still I'm still practicing. I'm not a great guitarist, but I'm way better than I used to be. Um, I'm a singer songwriter, so I love to, to get involved with that. I love walking in nature, cycling, yoga. Nature is a big one for me, whether it be in the woods, in the fields, by the sea. Um, all of these allow me to be present and give me joy, which obviously lifts my heart and soul. And I feel like I'm taking uh, care of myself, you know, with the good things, as well as having to deal with the responsibility of everyday life and, and all of that. Um, and staying fit, you know, the walking and the cycling is really important. Staying fit um, is good for my soul and good for my confidence. And I do like to hug a tree um, when there's nobody watching. <laughs> um, I just feel like, um, yeah, the age and the wisdom of those trees just feels like it's transferring to me. Um, another strategy for me to uh, continue to have connection and love myself is reading uplifting self-development books that are usually spiritually based. Um, I'm really fascinated with the universe, energy, law of attraction, Surrendering to the bigger and the better, you know, stuff that my mind can't even comprehend. My constant curiosity and learning allows my soul to continue to evolve. And um, I always want to try and be in my best version. It doesn't always happen. You know, I am human at the end of the day, but that is a goal of mine. And uh, one of my all time favorite books is The Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer. Um, it's a great book. It's a really easy read. And it's just an amazing story of his life and how he basically surrendered and just the unbelievable things that happen in his world. He, he, you know, he basically goes from wanting to be a hippie in the woods to something completely different. Um, and it's fantastic. So I highly recommend that book. <clears throat> um, another one is I, I do have regular coaches and mentors for me personally, because they help me guide me on my path and I'm reflect with compassion where I am and where, you know, when I've been going through some difficult challenges, certainly over the last few months, I definitely have been. Um, we can't grow and evolve on our own. We just can't do it. And we can't heal emotionally on our own either. So to have a, a group, sorry, to have a coach or a mentor or, you know, group coaching, like-minded individuals, like-minded souls, a nice community, um, it's very nourishing and it's very healing and it allows it allows me to continue to grow and, and evolve and, and call myself out on my own BS as well. Um, I use the analogy, we can't see the ingredients of a jar if we're the contents and it will take somebody else to read those ingredients because we can't see them. It's like you can't see the wood for the trees. It's the same thing. You know, we can't, we're too subjective. We're too fully in it in our own lives to actually objectively see what the hell we're doing sometimes. Um, so yeah, so I have group coaching, I have one-on-one -on -one sessions, and um, I also have uh, co energy energy healing coaching as well. Um, and lastly, really, surrounding myself with friends and family that uplift, energize, and support me rather than be a drain, you know, or unreliable. 
Um, I'm a, I've always been a natural coach. I'm the person that people are drawn to, to offload and get some guidance and all of that. And I've had to draw some boundaries to allow this not to drain me because I'm too soft, too kind, I've been told, too forgiving, whatever. Um, but over the over the last couple of years, especially, I've I've realized my boundaries have been there's been blurred lines. So I now am clearer with that and I basically put myself first, not all the time, but put myself and my emotional needs first to make sure my cup is half full, um, at least half full, to then be able to um to do the work I do and and to continue to be a good support and a kind support for the people that matter to me, um, including my clients. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, maybe we'll talk in the future. <laughs>